Here we have a question that says, what is the contribution margin per machine hour for bales? We are going to be looking at, in this case, a company that has multiple products. And in fact, they have a constraint, okay, a bottleneck factor, we'll say. Uh, and that is going to be explained to us here in just a second. And it says, Widgeon Company manufactures three products, bales, tails, and whales. The selling price are $55, $78, and $32, respectively. The variable costs for each product are $20, $50, and $15, respectively. Each product must go through the same processing in a machine that is limited to 2,000 hours per month. Well, that machine is our bottleneck. Okay, It only has 2,000 hours. Bales take seven hours to process in that machine. Tails, four hours. In whales, one hour. So we can manufacture these products, but we're restricted to the machine of 2,000 hours. So we can consider our profit margin, our contribution margin, excuse me, for each one of those. I'm going to expand this question a little bit. Although they're only asking me for the contribution margin for bales, I can do that. Let's go ahead and we'll do that. Bales. Bales. And it has a selling price. I'm going to set up a little table here of 55. It has variable costs of 20. So therefore, the contribution margin is equal to 35. OK? So we have 35. Now, the bales take seven hours to process in that machine. So we can divide the 35 by 7. And 35 divided by 7 is 5. So there's my contribution margin per machine hour. My contribution margin per machine hour. Now I've answered the question they, they have asked me. I'm going to expand this and go farther. Let's take a look, and we're going to do a little comparison here, of tails and whales. Tails, the selling price, is $78. Whales, $32. The variable cost, which were given to us for tails, is $50. And $15 for whales. I can easily calculate my contribution margin for each. $28 and $17. Now, if we stopped right there, we would look at it and say, well, our most profitable product would be bales, because it has a contribution margin of $35. That's true, except for this constraint, and that's that machine. We have to look at each one of these based on how many hours it takes. So for tails, I'm going to divide it by the four hours, and that is $7. For whales, I'm going to divide it by one hour. So now our contribution margin per constraint hour, the most profitable product we can do, are the whales. We could do, it only takes one hour, we could do 2,000 whales per, per period at $17. We'd have a much higher profit then if that's all we manufactured. So the most profitable per constraint hour is going to be the whales. Most profitable per unit before constraint hour would be the bales. But the most bales we could manufacture were 285. I did that by taking the 2,000 and dividing it by the seven hours. That equals 285 bales. Okay. So 285 bales times $35 would be my total possible contribution margin. Let's go ahead and extract that or expand that. So if I take 285 times 35, my maximum profit, if that's all I did, would be 9,975. If I do that for tails, tails takes four hours. So 2,000 divided by 4 is 500. So I could do 500 possible tails at $28. And 
my maximum contribution margin would be 14,000. If I look again at whales, it takes one hour, so I could do 2,000 whales, and I could multiply the 2,000 whales times the 17. Well, let's see, 2,000 divided by 1 equals 2,000, and I'm going to multiply that times What was it? Oh, 17. It'd be 34,000. So it would be definitely our most profitable. 34,000 is what we could make if all we made were whales. Now, we may have a company that we can't just do the whales. We have to do all three. And so we try to find our balance. Okay? To the extent that we can, we'd want to maximize the sale and production of whales. But we could end up losing customers if we don't do all three.